Hi there. Today I'm going to talk about something called a now file. Um, I first came across this concept when Derek Sivers mentioned that he had a now page on his website and it was something that he said that he kept updated every now and again to just keep track of the, the big things that were going on in his life at, the, at that time. And I thought it was an interesting idea but I didn't really pay much attention to it until quite recently I was listening to a podcast. I think it could have been Cal Newport's uh, Deep Work podcast. And he was talking about this idea of having one big project going on at any particular time. And obviously it's a, it's a, a little bit of a, a rule of thumb. There's going to be times when you have more than one project going on. And sometimes that's going to be out of your control. So it's not really something that you want to think of as a hard and fast rule. But the idea is you have this now file so that every time you get an opportunity to take on another project, start another article, um, you know, anything that seems like it might be interesting, it's a good idea to check the now file to see what else is going on. Because in the moment, you can get really excited about these new opportunities and forget that in order to do a good job on the new opportunity, you may actually be in a situation where you're going to have to take a hit on some of the other projects that you're doing. So look at those other projects and say, which of these are you willing to take time away from and potentially do uh, you know, not such a great job? I thought this was a really good idea. So I've started a now file and this is just a list of all the things that are going on, um, kind of big projects, uh, not basic administration, but big things that are taking up quite a bit of my time. And I've split it into um, things that are on my mind. So, you know, what are the big things that are taking up uh, cycles in, in my headspace? Uh, ongoing projects, these are things that um, I've got no intention of stepping away from. They don't have an obvious endpoint. These are just things that are keeping me busy. Current projects are projects that do have an endpoint. And you can see this list is already way too long. And then I've got these articles that are in various stages of uh, draft. And again, that's probably also um, more than, than I would like. It, it becomes quite difficult to focus on any one of those and to make significant progress on any one of those articles. Uh, when you are when you have so many um, so I've also added this to my uh, weekly review template and you can see in planning I've got this now file and uh, that links to this document here on the left close that every week I have a tick list item where I can come back to this file and check to see am I making progress on finishing up these projects am I getting to the point where I'm going to be able to move some of them out of the queue and I could make a decision that I'm not going to take on any new projects until I move something off of this list so yeah that was just a, a quick video just to talk about the now file and how I think it probably has quite a lot of value especially if you're like me and you have a tendency to say yes a lot and to agree to take on more and more projects without first checking to make sure that you, um, you've actually got space to take on some of that work. Right, that's it. Um, I hope that this was useful. And uh, yeah, if so, uh, keep checking back here for more videos and um, I'll see you again soon. Cheers.